So I'm working on a stylescape for a client here. And we had a discovery session. And here's some of the keywords that I drawed from the discovery session. So we've got our overall um, character here, which is a young male who's looking to, you know, uh, get inspiration for and grow his marketing career and stuff like that and some of the brand values are positivity creativity expertise and passion and then on the brand spectrum here you can see um you know more masculine than simple and simple um sharp a bit playful refined sporty and adventurous or adventure as you can see there so i'm gonna sort of start to create a stylescape based on on these and then all, obviously some of the competitors you mentioned or people like Neil Patel. So because the content's gonna mainly be for like Instagram and LinkedIn and things like that, you can see some of the design examples here. And then also TD Jakes as well has got some cool quotes and things as you can see, um, really bold typography and things like that. And I'm just trying to see what other people are doing. And he mentioned that in the discovery session. So I can see here some of the design elements which is really interesting. So I'm just going to start to, you know, draw out some of the, the colors and things like that. Carbatis is um, one of his businesses that he owns and he runs. So we need to sort of keep in line his personal brand with this. So I'm starting to use some of these, the red elements here and I'll start to put some colors out. I'll do it in a square and I'll put like black. And I'm gonna go to Pinterest and start to get some inspiration. So I kind of like this. I like bold typography. Um, I start to add some of these elements here. And also I'm thinking of the logo as well. I typed in bold red design. That's how I got some of this. A cool thing as well is to type in typography or brand identity, things like that, or like passion. So we're just looking for different elements to add to our um, stylescape. If I find like a nice color palette or things that I can add to the red. So like this is kind of cool. See this orangey. I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to draw some of the colors from here. So I'm going to just do this and I'm going to highlight some of these colors. Orange there. And what if we use like maybe that blue? We can see we've got like a charcoal, charcoal black, which is nice from this. And uh, maybe maybe a yellow. See this yellow here? I'm zooming in and just dropping that in. So potentially I could use that yellow, or even this uh, lighter color like this. Obviously that's vintage, so I don't want to add too much of that. And. I'm going to drop that in the colors like this and I like bring it like this and one of the things when you're doing a stylescape um, you want to show the, the main colors more right so I'm gonna scale these down and I'm going to bring the black up and then the red I probably don't want that red I want this red here and I'm just gonna add a stroke to that like this and then I feel um, the yellow might be too playful here, but I feel like the orange could work. So I'm going to make these ones very minimal. As you can see, because the majority are going to be using the red and black, which is awesome. Cool. I'm also going to get the little character here drop him in there and I'm gonna flip him around because you want him to look into the stylescape and I'll probably bring him somewhere over there into the end I'm gonna use a bold font I'm using American Auto see what this feels like the ultra feels a bit bold maybe go black tighten that up and I think we should go make it uppercase I'll make this white like that okay. 
Thank you, Smola. So I'm not I'm just putting a like a tagline type of thing. Not we're focusing too much. Just potential like logo that we could use. Just keeping it just quick because once again, this is a stars gap. We want it to be just inspirational. We don't want it to be too um, detailed. I might bring that to a regular and then drop the size of that. Just as an example. down a bit cool now I'm gonna go back to Pinterest and start to find some more images so I'll type um modern brand identity and I'm just going to look for something that's you know masculine simple positive once again you know going back to those words that we have And I could even look for some interesting marks as well. Okay, that looks cool. And in Pinterest, it's really cool to type in different keywords and test things out because you might not find what you're looking for. Type sharp. I like that, it's pretty cool. That's nice as well. And there's no right or wrong answer, we just like want to get some inspiration. So I kind of like this, how the, the number, and I'm just copying and pasting. I like what he did with the, the number there. Make this side black as well. Obviously, you've got this charcoal color, which is a little bit gray. I want to. I'm going to add that black color. It's good to have multiple shades for contrast. Just going to bring this in like that. Okay, cool. And then I'll just use that black like this. Type um, business card design, business card design. I want to look for something that sort of has some shape to it, or maybe like an interesting pattern.
So you can see the final result of the two stylescapes that I did for the client. One, the really, you know, bold and more energetic with the different colors and playful. And then the other one is more of a premium um, type of a mature look. I'm using some less colors. Let me know in the comments below if this is something interesting to you. And remember to subscribe and like this video for more design content every week.